Everybody, it's the Fairy Vibrant Makeup Channel and I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you based on my birthstones. So this is March. Um, if you have been watching my channel, you know that I did two other ones and those are the, um, the garnet and the amethyst for January and February. So here is the January one. This is my calendar that I made. I actually do these once a year and um, I usually sell them around Christmas time so that people can enjoy getting into the new year with if you enjoy my art <laughs> you can enjoy one of these so this is the actual uh, cover of the calendar and I went ahead and sorry if I sound a little nasally I think I might be getting sick Ugh. but um, this is January and I'll link this tutorial down below and then this is uh, February this is the amethyst one and I will link this tutorial down below as well so this month is March happy uh, month for me because it's my husband's birthday so I usually like to make I don't know why I do a, um, a thing I don't know why I do this but the months that fall my kids birthdays my husband's birthday and my birthday they fall on certain months from my my end getting gifts for my husband, my son, and my daughter is like one month after another. My husband's uh, birthday is in March, my son's in April, and then my daughter is in May. So I have to buy presents like constantly because they're like two weeks apart, a month apart. It's crazy. But anyways, um, I have this thing where I have to make March, April, and May absolutely perfect. They must be perfect because they're for my family, so I'm like, they have to look their best. And I think I did a pretty good job on March. This is March. Uh, I had a difficult time, actually, with her hair. I'm not one to really... I mean, most of my paintings actually have dark colored hair. I don't know why. It's just easier to paint. And this is my first time actually painting a blonde, dirty blonde that had more texture in it. So I hope it came out pretty good. I actually had a piece coming down here, her hair coming down here, and on the original painting, I just wiped that clean and then just tucked her hair behind her shoulder so it looks a little bit better and she has her neck exposed a bit. Um, and I also did these uh, beading uh, on the actual painting. It's just beads that I had done on wire. And this is actually an old earring of mine that's aquamarine color. And I uh, put that on the original painting. So let's talk about the makeup look. The makeup look is a aquamarine cat eye liner and a purplish uh, lilac kind of um, lip color. So she's very soft, she's very ethereal. When I think of March, I always think of wind because that's when in New Mexico, that's when the wind would really kick up and she'd always be breezy colored or, but I wanted to make her a lot softer this time, uh, more innocent looking, um, or sometimes I associate her with uh, pa St. Patrick's Day because that's the, you know, that's, that's pretty much what's in March, it's the holiday in March. So anyways, let's get started on this tutorial. And if you do like seeing these tutorials, just stay tuned and subscribe, of course. Uh, once a month I will be doing a birthstone um, until December, of course, and I'll try and do another batch the next year. That's if I can conjure up another calendar and see what's in that calendar, and I'll probably do another calendar uh, once a month tutorial thing. So let's get started. Um, grab my eye stuff and let's pull you in a little closer hold on okay so that's close I'm gonna move my hair out of the way and I'm gonna start off with the wet n wild Fergie collection this I bought at Wal Walgreens for I think $1.79 because they were clearanced so I don't think they sell these anymore but this is a perfect one it it broke a lot though, that's the thing, it's super soft. So I'm going to use this as my liner. And I'm going to enhance the liner with my NYX Cosmetics Crystal, uh, what's it called, the Crystal Liner or something like that. Crystal Aqua is the color and this is the liquid crystal liner. So let's get started on the base color, which is, of course, this one. So go on the outer corner of the 
eye and just create a diagonal line like so and then go back on the inner corner and just kind of drag that and drag that all, all the way over here when you get to the corner just kind of connect it to the diagonal line and fill in any sparse areas so it should look like that to the other eye and I have a nasty habit of not doing the eye exactly the same <laughs> who does I mean if you have talent to do that cool I certainly don't my steady hand has just gotten at it I mean I used to be able to draw very th fine lines onto my nails I used to do like Chinese symbols and stuff um, on my nails when I was younger and I just can't do it my hand shakes the whole time so anyways draw that diagonal line go back from the inner lash line and then connect it to the diagonal line like so okay so I don't know if you can see if you're precise I think this one needs to be a little thicker and longer needs to be thicker sorry there. okay so you must be very careful when you use these liners from the Fergie line and wet and wild they're very soft okay so let's go in with our crystal liquid liner from NYX and this is the crystal aqua you can get these at Ulta they're only like $4.99 I believe they're cheap I have a bunch of them so just go in on the inner corner just go on top of your color just to kind of create that sparkly effect change here in, in Denver. It's crazy. Alright, so we went over it and it should look like this. It's very sparkly. Bring it a little closer. Sorry, I'm still trying to work this camera. So as you can see, they're very sparkly. Um, I like that effect on it. So now I'm going to be doing my mascara and I'm using the Avon um, Super, ex super Extend Extreme. It's a mouthful to say this, but I love my Avon mascaras. I used to sell it, like I always say, and I absolutely love it. I just love the brush. So go ahead and just start putting your mascara on. If you want to add fake lashes, go ahead. I just wanted to keep this natural and soft. My lashes don't want to work today. Normally, I mean, if you've seen my tutorials, you notice I never put fake lashes on. I am not very good at doing that. I don't know why. I just, I'm not very good at it. I'm always afraid of touching my eye. But yet I put mascara on it. I know it doesn't make sense at all. I'm just putting my mascara on. Sorry, I had I had to redo this because my sound is all weird. So if that's why my lashes aren't working, because I had to strip off my makeup and start all over. And the dang camera didn't want to focus on me. So sorry if the lashes look a little sloppy. I meant I mean it, that's the only thing about this mascara; it's kind of hard to take off. Okay, you can see some sparse ones. I know this one looks a little sparse. Okay, so probably need a spoolie to fix all this, but I'm too lazy to get it. And 
when you have, I know that I really do want to try that Urban Decay, um, what is it, Resurrection? The, the mascara thing where you apply it and you're able to refresh your mascara without washing it off. I want to try that, but I'm on a no spending if you know the enemy, on makeup thing. You need not fear the result just so that I can, um, I don't know, it's just a personal thing. I just don't feel like getting more makeup. Okay, so as best as I could salvaging my lashes, there's the finished lash look. I'm sorry if my lashes are a little messy. Let's start with the lips. Okay, so now I'm going to use uh, the Milani Lip Flash in In A Flash. I don't think they sell these anymore, but you can use any kind of purple... A magenta type liner or lipstick. I'm just lining them right now. Press it together. Then I'm going to pick up my macaroon lippies and I'm going to be using violet. I'm just going to press those together. And then I'm going to be using lilac just to lighten up the color a bit. I'm just glad I get to use my macaroon lippies with this color. The lip flash really helps a lot. And I'm just going to take my finger and just blend it. Okay, so there's a completed look. Let's zoom out. Okay, so this is the completed look. Um, I know it's a little intense for some people, but I think with the lips, it looks soft, and the eyes add that extra, you know, um, edge to it, and I wanted to be able to make this makeup wearable for those who really like bold makeup. So, if you do like it, you could even substitute for like a mauve type lipstick if you don't want a purple lipstick. Just put a mauve uh, lipstick on and sparkly eyeliner and you're good to go. So if you do like these tutorials, I'm going to be doing them once a month and I'm also going to be um, doing a trendy Wednesday type video where I take kind of popular trends. I'm going to be doing, uh, in the month of March, I'm going to be doing um, just kind of like these soft um, eyeshadow colors, pastel eyeshadow colors so that people can duplicate that and it's kind of like a trendy thing, you know, pastels of course for spring. So I'm hoping to uh, post those every Wednesday and also this is going to be on a Friday so if you do like these I'm going to be doing my birthstone ones, makeup looks uh, once a month in the first Friday of the month. So. I will be doing this all the way to December, so um, I hope you guys like this. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe, please, because I'm new to this and I really want to show my makeup passion and I hope I can show you my skills and maybe even pr improve them and, and improve myself as a uh, makeup enthusiast. So I hope you have a good day and stay vibrant.